Kims. Hello everyone, I am Jenny Axler, and in this webinar video, we're going to explore the new software features in the Braille Sense 6 that are different from Polaris or additional. So we'll go ahead and get started. We'll start from our main menu. And we're going to go down the list. Word processor, double notepad, N, email, E. Now, I'm not going to demo anything here, but I do want to mention quickly that in email, we have combined the email and the exchange email programs. There's nothing really new here except that they are now one. I'm going to move down media, M. to media. And the first thing that I want to demo to you is the web radio in the media player. This was actually in the U2, and we've added something very similar to the Braille Sense 6. So I'll press enter on the media player. Media player, M. Title, track one, Sarah McLaughlin, Forlan M. Okay, and it's just showing the last thing I played. I'm going to go into the menus with the F2 key. File, F, pull down web radio, W, pull down menu. And I actually went backwards with space one, and here's the web radio menu. I'm going to press enter here. Channel list, C, dialogue enter, C menu item. So I have two items. I have the channel list. Channel search, S, dialogue backspace, E menu item. And the channel search. And considering that in order to put things in the channel list, we first have to search for them. I'm going to start there. So I'll press enter Channel here. search dialogue. Search mode, category one to combo box. So the first thing I have is search mode, and I have two items here. I have category. Word combo box. Or word. Word is the simplest one. If I press F3 here. Search word, edit box. I simply search for a word and I can press enter. I'm going to go back with space F3. Search mode, word combo box. And use space one to go. Category combo box. To category, because this is a little more interesting. So I'll press F3 here. Country, Afghanistan combo box. So the first thing I get to do is choose my country. We do have a web radio search database of worldwide stations. So I'm going to choose the United States. USA combo box. And I just press the letter U to do that. I'm going to press F3. Language, Afrikaans combo box. And now again, I have a language selection. I'll press the letter E. English combo box. And I have English. Now I'm going to press F3 one more time. Genre, 50s, 60s combo box. So now I have all kinds of genres. So I have the 50s, 60s if I press space 4. 70s, 80s combo box. 70s, 80s. 90s combo box. 90s. So let's see what's in there. I'm going to press F3. Result list, Big R Radio 90s FM URL, HTTP 107 155 111 234 8200. 977 music 90s URL, HDD 100 hits 90s alternative URL, HDD 181 FM light 90s URL, HDDP related. Okay, so it's just reading these, and I'm going to press enter on 181 FM light 90s. Successfully added. Result list, 108. So what that actually did was add it to my channel list. Now, if I press F3 again... Description, channel light 90s of internet radio 181 FM edit box. I get a little bit more, and I can, again, this is just a normal edit box. I can use space 4 and space 1 to read. Let me press F3 one add more time. Add channel button. I can use the add channel button. Play button. Or now, I can just play it. So I'll press enter. Loading. Title, track 1, play static box. Progressive presents The Sounds of the Old World. The year is 29. Stop. Okay. Title, track one stops. Well, we do have advertisements, so unfortunately that wasn't all that interesting, but you can hear that it is actually streaming. So now let's go back to our web radio menu. File, F, web radio, W, channel list, C, dialogue, enter, C, menu, And this item. time I'm going to go to the channel list. Channel list, dialogue. Channel list, 181, FM, light 90s, 1-1 one, one list item. And there you can see that when I pressed enter on that channel and it said it was added, it truly was added to my channel list. From here, I could just press enter to play it. That, in a nutshell, is the web radio. F file manager, F. So let's take a look at the database manager now. The database manager is another thing that we've brought over from the U2 by popular request to the Braille Sense 6. So I'm going to press the letter O to get to the organizer menu. Address manager, A. And I'll arrow down. Schedule manager, database manager, D. And I'll press enter here. No tables have been created. Table name, no items list item. So it's letting me know that there's nothing here. Now, what this program does is allow you to create a database of information. So let me quickly demonstrate how to add a table and add fields to it. Right now, it's in an edit box. It wants the table name. So I'm going to call this one Home Inventory. Home. And I'll press Enter. There are no fields. 
table name, home inventory edit box. Okay, so now I need to add a field, so I'm going to press F3. Field, no items list, add field, enter I, dialog button. And of course there are shortcuts as it's announcing. I'm going to press enter here. Add field dialog, field name, edit box. And I'll call this product. Okay, I'm going to press F3. Field type, edit box, combo box. Now I get to choose the field type, and there are several things to choose from. So let's actually go through those quickly. I'm going to press space 4. Number combo box. Computer edit box combo box. Multi-line edit box combo box. Date combo box. Time combo box. Check box combo box. Edit box combo box. And now we've wrapped back around to edit box. So you can define these in a way that will help you know what you're supposed to enter and help the unit know how to interpret the braille that you are entering. So this is an edit box, so that'll be fine. Set primary key checkbox unchecked. Now I can choose if I would like this to be the primary field, and I actually would, so I'm going to check that. Set primary key checkbox checked. Because this will be the uh, primary field that I would use to search, etc. Confirm button. And I can press enter on confirm. New field added. Field product, edit box, primary, one one list item. So I'm going to add one more field just so I can show you how to do it. Add that. field, enter I, dialog button. Add field dialog. Field name, edit box. Okay, so this one I'm going to type company website. Company. Okay. Field type, edit box, combo box. And it's going to be most appropriate to use a computer edit box for this one. Number combo box, computer edit box, combo box. Okay, and I'll confirm button, cancel button. And I've already got a primary key set, so it doesn't give me that option now. So we're going to go to confirm. Confirm button. And New press added. Enter. Field company website, computer edit box, two to list item. So now I have two fields. Now, of course, I could add as many fields as I want, but for the sake of brevity, we're going to go ahead and save this. So now that I have fields entered, I have a few more things in this dialog also. So I'll press F3. Add field, enter I, dialog button. So again, I can add field. Modify field, enter M, delete field, space previous field, enter next field, enter confirm button. Okay, and I'm going to go ahead and confirm. Successfully added table. Home inventory one one list item. All right, so now I have a table name and it lists it here. So let's press enter here. Search home inventory. Product edit box. So what it allows me to do is search very similarly to the address manager. Of course, I have nothing in here. So let me press F2 here. File, F, pull down menu, import from CSV, exit, Z, space Z menu item. So I could actually import from another database. I'm going to press F4. File, F. Edit, E, pull down, insert a new record, I, dialog, enter a menu item. And this is what we're going to do. So I'll press enter here. Add home inventory dialog, product edit box. So I could just say, I don't know, microwave. Okay, and I'm going to press F3. Company website computer edit box. And we'll just do www.samsung.com. I have no idea if that's actually their website, but we'll just press enter here. Successfully inserted, product edit box. So now that's how you add a record. And again, you can add as many records as you want. You can use the search dialog just as you do with the address manager. You use F3 and space F3 to navigate it. And it's generally that simple. You can create anything. I mean, that's the, the great thing about this database. Um, I knew someone who created uh, a list of books that she read and she had different fields with comments and authors and publish dates and various things. This is completely open to however you want to use it. File Manager, F. So we've returned again to the main menu, and this time we're going to take a look at the Bookshare download application. This is another one that we have brought from the U2 and Blaze and given new life on the Braille Sense 6. So it's located in the Extras menu, so I'll press the letter X. Excel Viewer, X. And it's the last item, so I'll press space 456. Bookshare six. Download, B. And I'll press Enter here. Login Success. Books 1, 3 list item. So the first thing it did was log me into my account. I have saved my login settings in here, so it's, it's very nice and convenient that way. So now I have different search types. I have books. Periodicals 2, 3 list item. Periodicals. History 3, 3 list item. And my download history. I'm going to go back up Periodicals to Periodicals 2, books 1, 3 list item. And I'm going to press F3. Search type, word 1, 3 list item. And I have three types of searches. I have word. Category 2, 3 list item. Category. Full text 3, 3 list item. Or full text. And again, full text is going to mean 
mean that you'll search for words uh, within the actual text of the various selections. If I go back Category to two, Word, three, Word one, three, list item. and I press F3, Title, Author or ISBN, Edit Box. I'm going to search for Title, Author, or ISBN. So we'll just make things simple and universal, and I'll search for Harry Potter. Harry. And we're going to press Enter, and it's now doing the search. Results, Harry Potter y la piedra philosophal, Harry. And I've got some Spanish intermixed here, so I'm going to go down. Harry so Potter while, Harry Potter while, college, Harry Potter while, Harry Potter while, prisoner, Harry Potter while, mystery, Harry Potter and the prisoner of Azkaban, Harry Potter 3, 750 list item. And there we go. Now we have English. So I'm actually going to go down a little bit and get the last book. Harry Potter and the Goblet, Harry Potter and the Philosopher, Harry Potter and the Chain, Harry Potter and the Half Blood, Harry Potter and the Cursed Child, Harry Potter and the Goblet of Harry Potter and the Sorcerers, Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows, Harry Potter 7, 1550 list item. All right, let's get this one. I'll press enter now. And I'm seeing progress across the Braille display, although it is not saying anything. This is a long book. <laughs> if any of you have read it, you know that it's the longest one in the series. And Download complete. All right. Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows, 7, 100. Notice. I. Pause. Okay, so what it did is it actually downloaded, it, it unzipped, and it opened in the Daisy Player. Now you can set it not to do that. You can just set it to download and unzip or just set it to download. But I had it do everything automatically, and it is that simple. File Manager F. One new application that does not appear on the Polaris or the U2 is a simple world clock application. This is located in Utilities, so I'll press the letter U. Calculator, C. And we'll go down. Braille Sense Math, Display Time and Date, World Clock, O. And it's right here, so we'll press Enter. 0306, 45 p.m., Sol GMT 090011 list item. So it's going to, by default, give you your current time zone. Now, if you want to add one. Add, Enter A, Dialog button. You just simply go to the Add button right here. Add Dialog. Time zone, Midway GMT 11, zero, zero combo box. And all I need to do is choose the time zone that I want to add. I have relatives in the United States, so let's actually do that. I'm going to add central. Time zone, Chihuahua GMT 0, Costa Rica CST, Chicago CST combo box. And Chicago will do it. I just press the letter C several times to get there, and I'm going to press enter. 0107, 25 a.m., Chicago CST 2, 2 list item. Now I have my add. Add, enter A, delete, space D, button. Exit, space Z, button, zero one zero seven, And I'm just pressing F3 to move within the dialog, and that is all there is to it. And we have another little new utility I want to show you really quickly. So I'm going to go ahead and just close this. World clock, O. Oh. And I'm going to move down. Display compass heading, wake up alarm, stopwatch, terminal for screen, display network, display power stat, backup, restore flash disk, K. We have a new backup, restore flash disk function, and this is very simple. I'm just going to press enter. Backup button. And I simply have a backup button. Restore button. And a restore button. Close button. And a close button. Backup button. So let's press enter on backup. Please select a disk which the data will be copied. SD, path, storage SDCARD, space, 106.28 gigabytes, 238.44 gigabytes, 11 one list item. So it gives me my list of disks, and I could just press space 1 and space 4. You could, of course, back up to a USB drive as well. And it lets you know how much space you have, which is a good thing to know, because, of course, you're going to back up your entire flash disk to it. Um, of course, restore is the same way. You choose the disk from which to restore, and it's basically the exact same functionality. File Manager, F. The last thing I want to show you is something new in our settings menu that allows you to create language profiles. I'll press the letter S to open settings. Set time and date, T. And I'll press L for language profiles. Language profiles dialog. Profile, default profile one to list item. So there are two profiles here. Um, one of them is the default profile. This will always appear and will consist of the settings that you set in your global options concerning voice, concerning braille code, etc. The second one here that I have French to to list item is one that I created for French. Now I'm going to press F3. Add enter a dialog button. And I've got the usual dialog. I've got add, modify, enter delete, space confirm button. Profile, French 2, 2 list item, add, enter A, dialog button. And we wrapped around to add, and I'm going to press enter this time. Add dialog, 
Profile, Edit Box. And the first thing it wants me to do is name it. This one I'll name Spanish. And I'll press F3. Language, English, United States, 848 list item. So now it wants me to choose the system language. Now, you may actually want to keep this at English or whatever your native language is. This is what's great about this profile. You can keep your system language, but you can change your TTS and Braille code to a different language. Now, so I'm going to do that. I'm going to leave it as English, and I'll press F3. Braille code, US 123 list item. Now this, of course, I do want to change to Spanish, so I'm going to... UEB 223 Spanish 320 Spanish Liblaus 423 list item. I want the Spanish Liblaus code, so I'm going to keep this. I'll press F3. View input grade, computer braille 13 list item. And it gives me now the options for the view input grade. Uncontracted braille 23 list item. And this is what I would like is uncontracted braille because that's the way that I'm used to dealing with the Spanish braille code. Voice type, braille sense vocalizer 1, 2 list item. Now I can choose my voice. So I'm going to go with braille sense vocalizer. Voice name, English Samantha 6, 11 list item. Now I want to find my Spanish voice. UK English L English Nathan Spanish Marisol 911 list item. So we'll go with this. You secondary voice off one two list item. Now what this would allow me to do is to switch between English and Spanish in a document if I have a mixed language. So if I actually turn this on, it would speak English when I have it a English text, and then it would speak Spanish when I have Spanish text. This might be useful if you're learning a foreign language and you have English instruction in a textbook. For now, I'll leave this off. Voice rate, 5512 list item. Now I'm allowed to choose my voice rate, which again, you may want to have slower in a foreign language. Again, I'll go voice pitch, 5510 list item. And I'm also allowed to choose my voice pitch. Confirm button. Okay, and I'll just press enter to save it. Save complete. Profile, Spanish 33 list item. Now you can choose one of these profiles at any time from anywhere on the unit with a global hotkey, F1L. So I'll press that. Select language profile dialog. Profile, default profile 13 list item. So now I can simply go to this. French 23 list item, Spanish 33 list item. And press enter. Profile, Spanish 33 list item. And we've switched to the Spanish profile. For more information about any of our HIMSS products, you can visit our website at www.himsintl.com or send us an email at hymns at Thanks for watching.